Welcome to this video where we start developing our front page for the car service website. If you are new here, I am Anchit and I enjoy making websites with WordPress. Bricks Builder is currently my tool of choice for building websites, ACPT for custom post types. Using these tools, I will be creating a series of different websites from scratch and also how-to videos for new tools. Do visit part 1 to get an idea about this website from its beginning. Let's finally get started with front page. From pages page, under home page, click on edit with bricks link and you land up in bricks back end. Add a section by clicking on the plus icon. From the reference image, we see the hero part has a blue background and has two columns. For blue background to stretch across the screen, give it a height of 100 VH, meaning vertical height of 120% viewport. We will change that later once design is ready. Column 1 has image and on right column 2 has a form. When you hover over the container in middle area, you see a 3 bar column icon under. Click on it and select 2 column setup, we can change the width later. Once it shows up on the page, set width of left to about 60% and that of right to 40%. This seems alright. Let's get the elements of left column together. Before we add image to column 1, let's add white background to main container so text etc is visible for form side as well. Looking at the design, you have an image in background, then heading, text and button. Add image to background of column 1. Image can be picked up from freepick.com or from the reference website for practice purposes. Image needs a black overlay as the text above needs to be visible. Add a black color here with increased transparency from color picker. And under the blend mode, select overlay. Adjust to get right. Add the heading, rich or basic text and button elements to this column now. Give more padding above and below and some on the sides for the column. Write the heading text, set its font size, and give margin to it at bottom to create gap from the text below. From the design, select the paragraph text and paste it in the rich text element. Same way, give it margin at bottom. Time for the button now. Add the text our services. Remove that style of primary helping it take the styling from default we set in theme styles in previous video. Link the button to services page. In typography give it font weight of bold and text decoration to capitalize. Padding for the column can be increased little more. If we increase padding for the container, the white background starts becoming visible, so do these changes to column for now. Top of the hero section is sticking to the header. 
As per the design, there is gap between the header and hero section. Give hero section padding on top and bottom of about 2-3 rem. View it on front end and I believe it looks amazing. You will be able to notice the width difference between the reference design and our website. This the container width difference. In default theme styles, we need to increase the width of container element for this website. We can give it 1300 px and check. Seems about right. Entire website has not expanded to this width. For the form in right column, add heading, image and basic text element. I have picked up an image from Freepik website. Add that image here, apply a circular mask to this image in order to give it a circular look like in reference image. Remove the caption. Size of image is big, so decrease its width. Go to column settings and center align all elements. Next add the name in heading element, make it bold and adjust the font size. Add the required text in basic text element. Font color is gray, which you may adjust in color under typography. And margin padding can be adjusted as per your need. Next, we add a form element which is bricks form itself. Give this form a padding of for REM on left and right. Click on form, then under submit button, give it a width of 100% and remove the primary style. Adjust typography by capitalizing text, giving it a bold font weight and size as per need. This can be done in theme styles to avoid doing it repeatedly for every button. Button name is Book Inspection. In column element, add more padding to the form from sides, top and bottom. Looking at the design and our output, you may notice height of reference design hero element is more than ours. We can adjust that by changing height of column in terms of viewport height like we have done for the section. Center align the text vertically. Add small margin onto for the button element. For column on right, add a basic text element and give the privacy policy acceptance statement. Give it some margin on top, with the same grey color font. Reduce the font size. Center align it horizontally. Now check on front end. Looks good.
Comparing with the reference form, our third field is different. To keep it simple, let's keep it as it is. Background color of the fields is slight gray and has more padding which are values you can change on your own now. One other difference is that the hero section has a shadow under the container. Let us add the shadow. For that, click on container element, under border, and box shadow, select box shadow and give it a color of black, reduce the opacity. Add blur and spread values as 1 REM and 0.1 REM respectively. To move the shadow down, Y value can be given as per need, let's do 1 REM here. If the shadow is harsh, reduce the opacity further. Check the change on front end. This completes the hero section. Now we move to second section of the front page. Here, I notice free car inspection is an image not text. But we will use text and work from there. Next thing you notice is that white section overlaps the blue section by some amount and section has shadow. Let us start making this. Add a block to this same hero section. We will add this heading and basic text elements in this block under hero section itself, considering they have the same background. Enter the content for both heading and basic text. Capitalize the heading. Click on block element and align them to center. Add padding of 3 REM to top and 8 REM to bottom. Since there will be overlap of white section over the blue area, we need higher padding in bottom of this section. For now give blue background to this block element to replace the blank padding area with blue. Save this and view from front end. Looks fine, but block background color has covered the shadow of container above it. You can increase the Z index of container so that it comes to front and shadow becomes visible. To do that, add two lines of code. Under CSS tab, write percent root percent and within brackets type Z index equals any number more than zero. Here we add 999 and it works. Add a new section element under the hero section and call it car image section. In reference image, we see three columns. First and third columns have similar data and center is empty. Background is white and this car image with circles around it. We can use this same image using right click and save image. Using the column icons, add three column layout. Give container a background of white to distinguish it. Under column 1, add a counter element. Next is an icon, and third is basic text element. Add a block and put all these three elements under this block for easy handling. Sin block settings, center align these elements. Click on icon settings, select an icon, give it a size and color of blue as per our design. In counter settings, give count to 20 as limit. Color to be black and bold with higher font size. Enter the text for basic text element, change the color to black, and set the font size as needed.
Checking the reference, font size of the counter is higher, so let's do that. Also, font weight and size of text element is higher. Great, so to make our work easy, duplicate this block. Select column and give it a column and row gap of 20 or higher to get the same gap. Also add some margin to bottom for the first block, pushing the bottom block further down. Viewing the reference, margin needs to be more. In reference website, you also notice some padding on bottom and top of this column. Go to column 1 element and add some padding to top and bottom along with some margin of 2 REM. Duplicate this column. Delete one of the columns and move this new column to third position, keeping the center column empty. Now background image can be added by going to style tab and background image. Let the size remain on full because changing it to anything lower makes it blurry. Background repeat field to be set to no repeat. Background size to be set to contain and position to center center. Now we need to push this section up. Before that, go to Hero section and increase the height to 120 VH instead of 100 VH. Then remove the blue background from the block containing the heading Free Car Inspection. Z index probably could be avoided to but no worries, we learnt a correction in case you run into that issue. Save the page and check on front end. Counters are working fine. You may change the numbers and associated text for your design, I'll leave it at what it is now to save time. Go the second section now and give a negative margin to it. Save this and check on front end. You see the white section has move up. Adjust the numbers and see to what point you like it. At the end, give it that box shadow as we did earlier. Great so part 2 of our video series concludes here. Next video we move on to to next sections and learn hover animations. Until then, like, share and subscribe. There is lots to learn. This video series is one of many such websites to come. See you soon. Learn the best WordPress tutorials at WP Write site.